say yay because it's another video y'all already know what time it is before we get started make sure you like subscribe and comment so the videos keep coming i'm feel about if you trace got refusal whatever which way this world is totally at least what it told me only fuel me to go harder till i put fuel in that audi and go skirt sorry not sorry or no sir you had your feet up with groundwork i need to see baby keys paid for those who stay down in the world um, a little bit behind schedule, I was supposed to at least be there by now is 12, like almost 10 minutes to 12. I was supposed to be there and I hope it ain't, I hope it ain't loud, like the outside loud. I'm gonna have to be louder. Now I've been to Tennessee before. When I went, I went to Nashville, and if you haven't seen that that vlog, go on and check it out. It was a, it was some time ago. This time I'm gonna be in Chattanooga, so we're gonna look around and see what things we can get to. Obviously, I might make some stops. I wanted to go to this. I wanted to go to this uh the 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 Barber Vintage Motorsport Museum and uh you know check that out but it looks like when i get there it's gonna be like four or something and the place closed at like five so it's like i ain't gonna really get to enjoy it so i probably have to pass that up or uh or maybe i can get it on the way back we shall see anyway y'all uh, insurance insurance is just such a like U.S. just finds every way possible to, like, get a coin, get a bag. Like, being in the U.S., I've learned you really got to have a hustle mentality. And obviously things like COVID, you know what I mean? Certain things have came within these past years that heightens that. But it's like the insurance is just... It's stupid to me especially for it to be the price it is same thing with like healthcare insurance like I don't, I don't understand like pay all this money and then our deductible is still like crazy you know what i mean and like for me like health insurance to me that's something that that's a necessity you know what i'm saying you're making us pay for grapes apples Things that God gave us for free? We can't account for when something happens to us. I just think it should be like a standard to, to insurance. It should be a standard. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with a car. Like, whether you're at fault or they're at fault, like, there's still a penalty for both, for both causes. Like, you're going to be waiting five five six years to get your money of that like it's just a gimmick but what i will say is I was driving in police was was coming on the exit ramp and i already was kind of speeding but like I'm, I'm one of them drivers that like to be on cruise I, I don't know like ever since i found out what cruise was like since i was a jet and i'm driving somewhere i love cruise control it just don't feel like you're driving for real but I was already speeding on cruise control, so it was easier for me to slow it down on my brakes without, like, the brakes coming on. So he ends up getting on the exit, and he, like, he, like, you could tell that he, like, behind, he's catching up behind me, right? It be feeling so good when you know, like, you clear. Like, when you know you got insurance everything the other day, it be like, yeah, check me, nigga. Check me, like, like, you just be so... You be so geek, like, I want you to check me. I want you to check me, like, fuck. Now, when you ain't got insurance, my nigga. You heard be quiet and turn the music down, put the seatbelt on, trying to not look like you looking to see what he gonna do. So needless to say, he checked my shit and I was good. Cause he was riding me for a minute, like, for a good minute. You could tell, like, you kind of could tell when they checking your shit, too. Because, like, I was going, I, I had I had went all the way down to, like, to, like, the speed limit. Now, I know I'm going slow because other cars passing me. 
Because they not going to speed limit. He was still sitting there. I'm like, oh, yeah, you checking it, but go on here, my nigga. Like, I still think insurance is a, it's bullshit. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, and then they make ways for you to have to get the insurance. Like, if I didn't have insurance, he could have pulled me over. He could have took my car. He could have uh, told me, you know, repoed it or whatever. Like, that's, that's a lot. Like, that's extreme to me. So I've been thinking about fasting. I've done fasting one time. And when I did, it was for three days. And I'm not going to lie. The last day, first off, like, I was so sick. And I think it's because, like, when you're about to fast, you kind of should ease your way into it. And I'm a cold turkey type of person. Like, a lot of things I do, I can just do it. Like, I don't have to really have a preparation for it. I can just do it. When it comes to health, though, that's very dangerous. Because, like, by the second day, I was so sick. But I hadn't, like, transitioned to eating, like, anything, like, lighter. I didn't, I didn't transition to, like, fasting. So, like... It really caught up to me. And on the third day, I was like starving, right? Then I didn't even make it no better because, like, literally, once I got on my fast, I ate like the most, I ate the most greasiest. Like, it was so fatty, bro. And I couldn't even eat it all. That's the crazy part. So I'm gonna try fasting again, and I want to do it longer than three three days. Um, maybe I should start three days first i love traveling and eventually before i leave this earth i wanted to be able to explore all the states of the u.s and um at least five places out of the country so y'all will see videos hopefully of me going out and doing those things because that's part of my fun that's what i like to do i like to go travel and um just experience the world man it's so much out here other than our backyards if you haven't go check out my single i just dropped called glow and shine hard music um and yeah y'all i'm about to i'm about to jam a little bit so y'all i'm out here turn playing. left then turn right i was riding and realized i need a gas i had need a gas like when it had been at like 40 something miles bro and i'm dead Turn right, then it's the like, destination is on your left. I did ass for God, bro. I'm riding, riding, riding. I'm like, oh shit, I ain't got no gas. Trip. I just try to get my gas from the same place. Is y'all like that, or y'all just pull up to any, to anything? Be right back. All right, I'm back, y'all. Um. Finally figured out where I was gonna eat at. It's called the Rugaru. Now it was out of that or Hetty Bees. I've been wanting to go to Hetty Bees for a minute. Um, it's a Nashville, Tennessee, you know, food spot. I think I'm gonna catch it on the way back. So it's not that I'm not going. Um, I'm just probably gonna catch it on the way back. It's supposed to be like the real deal for Nashville uh, hot chicken. So. But they got po' boys. I love po' boys and haven't had a po' boy in forever. Usually by this time I've already eaten something heavy or big and I really didn't. So I'm looking forward to this po' boy. I, I, I'm pretty sure it's going to fill me up and put me right in the right spot. So test the gangsta. I ain't going to lie. Like I used to be one of them people who drive, get sleepy, still be driving. Like I don't do that no more. Like, I got tired. I took me like an hour now, bro. I was battery locked. I don't like hitting gyms. I like to find things in every state. I just think like every state has its own culture and it has something that it can bring to it. Like even when I went to Nashville that first time, like I wasn't so big. I'm not so big on country music and stuff like that, but it was an experience. Like I enjoyed, you know, the experience, the culture or whatever. And I got some good food spots. So y'all already know, like I was like on that. But I'm not one of those people that just think like, oh, we should just go to the top tourist spots and that's it. Like, people be having nice things to bring to their city. Like, a lot of the food and the culture that we may not even know we are, like, we may enjoy. That comes to the city that we live in, be coming from, to be starting in these places. Now, they also had a, in Tennessee, they also had a whiskey 
tour. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna do that. I really don't drink as much anymore, but and I don't care for whiskey. So if I do drink, if I do drink, I don't really care for whiskey. So, but I might do that. Um, I mean, y'all just stick around and we shall see what it brings us. The sun is gonna keep. I can't tell by the sun if y'all can see me or not. If it's blocking it enough, I don't know. Um, so yeah, I will film once I get to Ruguru. Um, and I'll give it to you. So that's a plus. Yeah, I got the wrong thing. I got a catfish bass. And I meant to get the catfish boy and add fries, but I just got the basket. So yeah, look how good that she said that she's just gonna give me the po' boy, so I'm gonna wait out for it because there's no way I can eat both of these. But y'all, when I got here, the line was low. It's a little steady flow. It's like a, it's a Friday. I'm usually watching uh, March Madness right now. Yeah. And I'm gonna try not to eat all these fries because I really want to finish my sandwich. I really want to finish my full boy.
thing since I got in Tennessee, and that's go check out Rock City. I love nature and love being in the um, and seeing views and just being in the, the 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 trees, the ground. Like I just love that. I wasn't gonna do it to be honest. And for some reason, I felt like God just said, "Go on and do it. We'll take care of the rest." get home or uh, we'll take care of the rest later like today is about like enjoying so that's what i'm about to do so i hope y'all enjoy this it's supposed to be like one of the number one tourist spots now it was either rock city or ruby falls i believe R ruby falls has a uh, uh what's it called uh a waterfall in it i wanted to go see the look the lookout mountain which uh, i'll show y'all more when i get there and so yeah i'm really excited about that I in two to... miles take exit 11 on the state route 136 toward trenton y'all just telling my business i can't wait to go and see it man i hope y'all enjoy these views with me um they say it typically takes about two hours so as long as i'm back on the road by like six before six i should be good um i had to get up really early today so that's why i'm saying that because i want to have some driving time it's too late i don't really like driving late so beautiful out here like oh my god the, the weather is perfect it's like not too hot not too cold like it has a little wind to it and i'm just like this is too much of a perfect day not to go not to go to rock city like i wanted to so yeah i'll catch y'all when i get there All right, y'all, so I finally uh, made it. First, you gotta go to admission, and then after that, it, maybe because it's Saturday, I don't know, it's it's pretty packed, so there's a line like to get in. But when you purchase your ticket, you gotta wait a, a certain amount of time before they let you in. I went to, to Starbucks across the street and to use the bathroom, and when I came back, it didn't seem like the line moved at all, so I'm just gonna get in line now. Um, I think you got until like 7.30, it feels so good out here. Like, Texas has been, Texas has been hella cold. It's been like cold, raining, it just been like everything. And right now it feels so good. I got on props and I don't really think I need, I'm starting to think that I need to put on some real shoes, but I got my shoes in the back, in my backpack because backpack, 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 backpack. I got in the backpack because it's just giving. I might need some real shoes to get by. I had like bed and breakfast and um, stuff like that. I don't know what I ever do a bed. Would y'all ever do a bed and breakfast? Just some line chilling. I'm pretty sure by the time I get to the front of the line, it'll be like for something. Um, I'm going to show y'all the views when I get in there. Y'all stay tuned. I'm going to walk in erection. Call us texting. You said, baby, don't be mad. You know how pretty it is. Don't open your mouth. You speak good to me. I ain't been like this. Fucking with a G. It's cause I fuck you that don't mean I trust you. I don't. You got some car hopes. Nothing at all. Took a trip to London just to hear how they talk. Back to four and no, you should hear how they talk. He might be missed a track and fill, but I done ran through them all. Yeah, that nigga played the game just to watch how it ball. I ain't never home for no one. You pull up when I call. All the hood niggas respect me. Strippers wanna sex me. You pressed on me. Now we mad because you met me.
They playing too much. They shaking it. Oh, shit. Oh, this is real. This is dead ass real. For real. Hey. Tell your mom you get one or two out of me, and that's it. This is a dog like still ain't it though, and I ain't gonna catch you. Them views definitely hit. I would recommend. I think I've been here for probably about an hour, but I also didn't stop and get food or like shop. I mean, I went in the stores, but you can you can add about 30 more minutes to that if you decide to do that. So about like an hour and a half. It's still pretty nice out. All right, y'all. So I'm gonna see if I'm gonna probably catch Hattie B's. But it's time to head back home, kind of get a head start. Um, hope y'all enjoyed it like I did. Good views, and hey, elevate your memories. Mm -hmm.